number of column m by n matrix, p number of row, q number of column, p by q matrix. First rule, first rule you have to consider that what is over here, what is the column number over here? Okay? And what is the row number over here? If they are same, <coughs> I'm sorry, they are same, that means <coughs> What is happening? N equals P. Am I correct? Yes. Yes. So, if column number of the first matrix, let me write column number of first matrix is equals to row number of second matrix if it is happening this law is happening then matrix multiplication is possible okay yeah now if we are going to take some numerical example, so theoretical, is it clear to you? Yeah. If the column so number is same as the row number, then you can multiply. Yes. So let me take you to the. Um, let me take you to uh, another example. Suppose I'm taking an example of a matrix having three, four, zero, zero, one. 2, 5, 2, 3. This is a matrix and it will be multiplied with 2, 3, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now, the question is first we have to check of any matrix how many row, how many column. So there is 3 by 3 matrix. There are 3 row, 1, Two, three, and there are three column. One, two, three. Now the second matrix has two row. One, two, and columns are one, two, three. Do you agree with me? Yes. Yes. So now tell me if I am going to. Uh, do an operation matrix multiplication between them is it possible yes because the first because like because the first column and second row I, is uh, the same number it's three again repeat what you said yeah it's possible because like um there because there's three columns and three rows so it, it it's the same number so it's possible Okay, so you are saying that there is three rows and they have this one, right? Yep. Okay, now I'm going to again uh, this theoretical formula. Theoretical formula is saying first matrix column number. Column number of first matrix. So now let me connect with the numericals example which I have written in the next page. So column number of the matrix, here it is. What is the column number? Three. Three. So this is my column number of first matrix. Yes. Sorry. Yes. And this is my, now let's go to previously again. Now row number of second matrix. Right? So let me yes. check now. Row number of the second matrix is this. So are they equal? No, so it's not possible. No, they are no equal. Right? So it is not possible. Differences is clear now? 
Yes. Okay. Now let me uh, let me take the same example. If I am going to um, make some changes, some changes mean suppose. Suppose uh, this one is two three. Oh, sorry, two three one. Okay, this uh, column number. I'm going to make it as a row number. Suppose I would like to make it as this is as. Now tell me, there is how many rows and how many columns? First one? Um, there are three rows and two columns. No, first matrix. I'm talking about the first matrix. Oh, first matrix. So first matrix is three rows and three columns, three x three. Very good. And what about the second matrix? Three x two. That means three rows, two columns. Now yeah. this, is this possible? Yes. Yes, because the column number and the row number are equal, equal, right? Yeah. So, possible. Great. Now, what will be the result in matrix? Now, if you multiply, how many row and how many column you will get? Next question. Once you multiply, how many row will be there? And how many column will be there? Any idea? Um, three columns. Three and columns. No, first is row number. Three row. Oh, three row and three column. No, three row and how much? How much column? Uh, three column. No, two column. See how you are going to get what will be resultant matrix that will come from this. First, this is a row number. And this is a column number. Okay? okay. So three row and two column. Is it making sense? Yeah. Yes. So when you multiply higher order, when it is two cross two, that, that, that two by two matrix, there is no issue on that. The issue arises when it's a, a, a higher order. So you have to check what is the row number here? That will be your row number here. And what is the column number here? That will be your column number. I hope it is clear to you now. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Now, now the matrix multiplication rule as it was before, the same rule will be applied now. There will be no change. How? But the rule was first we are taking this row number and then we are taking this column number. Right? When yeah. you multiply. So 3, 2, 6. Okay, I'm doing uh, all the rough calculation here. And then I'm going to write the answer. Okay, so three two the six plus four zero zero plus zero one zero. So how much is my value? This is six. six right. So this is my first value six. Okay. Now what you have to do? Now three. 4, 0 will be multiplied with second column. Okay. 3, 3 is a 9 plus 4, 1 is a 4 plus 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. I meant correctly. 3, 3, 9, 4, 1, 4, 0, 1, 0. Okay. So 9 plus 4 is how much? 13. 13. Right? So this is my second value, 30. Okay. Now I'd like to I'd like to uh, erase this part because already this operation is done. When it will be higher order, you might get a little confused. It is very normal. Okay. Because uh, the values are increasing. Okay. Okay, my first operation is done. Okay, 
Now I'm going to do for second second row. Okay. Second row means this row 0, 1, 2 will be multiplied with the first column 2, 0, 1. Okay. Let me solve this one as well. I got two for that one. Oh, very good. Tell me, tell me. I'll write that. First one is how much? Um, zero times two is zero, plus one times zero is zero, plus two times one is two, so it's just two. So it is two, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, the second one will be multiplied with the... Okay, so... Okay. So, the second one I'm going to second row and the second column. Yeah. Okay, could you please multiply three. and tell me? Three. Oh, three. Okay, so my second row operation also done. So I'm going to erase it. Uh, now we're going to work for third, third row. Okay, third row yeah, is this one. And this one is sorry. Yeah, you got 13 for that one. Okay, you, you got it already. Tell me, tell me how much? Yeah, I got it 13 and 20. 13 and 20. Okay, so I don't have to write again. So let me do it. 13 and 20. So 5, 3 is a 15. 2, 1 is a 2. Uh, 3, 1 is a 3. Yes, you are correct. So <clears throat> now you check, as we said, as we said in when you were solving for row and column, how many column, how many row you have got? One, two, three. You have got three row? Yes? Yes. And two column? Yeah. Yes. So now you understand how it is related? Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay, now I'm going to, so this is the whole explanation. Now I'm going to give you one problem you will uh, you will you can try in your pen and paper okay and yeah. you are going to tell me uh, the answer i will write in the book okay okay so when you're going to uh, operate matrix multiplication keep this thing in mind that first you have to check that matrix multiplication is possible or not then we'll perform matrix multiplication. Okay. Yeah. This is negative four. Okay. Otherwise. Yeah. First question is first question is what is matrix multiplication possible? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, it is possible. possible. What is the reason? Because um the uh the the, the first matrix has uh, two columns and the second matrix has uh, two rows. Good. Now, next question. What will be the word? Uh, three times three. Will be the order, the order of resulting. Already you said three, 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 three by three matrix. Yes. Okay. So, so resultant will be three by Okay, now you start doing multiplication.
I'm having trouble with this one. You, you have done or? Uh, I can't get like I can't get like the bottom row. I don't know how to do that one. This one's like a little weird. Okay, I'm just helping you. See, when you're going to solve first row, first column, okay, then yeah. second column, then third column. So this will give you eight, two, three. Okay. Now second row, first column, first column in this. Yes. Yeah. Right. Second row. Second column means this. It will give this value. And second row, third column. It will give this value. Okay. The same thing applied for the third row. Third row, first column. This will give this value. Third row, second column. It will give this value. Third row, third column. It will give this value. Okay. Okay, I got my numbers. Okay. Tell me, I can write for you. Um so the first um so the first row is four, negative eight, two. Four, negative eight and two, okay. The second row is negative four, six, negative three. Okay. And the third row is negative two, six and zero. Six and zero. So let me check. Two two four zero zero, correct. Two four my negative eight, okay, correct. Two one two zero two, correct. Minus two minus two minus four zero, correct. Minus eight eight minus two is six, correct. Minus two minus one is minus three, correct. Minus two zero, correct. Minus plus four. Plus two is six, correct? Minus one, minus one, plus one, zero. Yeah, right. Very good. Okay, so you understood how to solve of different order. Now, now what I can do? So now we are going to start with uh, uh, practice. Okay. Okay.